Hello, welcome to my tech farm. My name is Igor, and in this video, I have a nozzle reviews. And uh, these are Black Ops nozzles by 3D Easy, and they have non stick coating on them. And uh, they claim, at least on the website, that uh, especially with PTG, they drastically reduces the stringing. And my first answer was uh, that I'm not really sure if I can test this, but uh, then I told them that I can do some uh, printing first with a regular nozzle and then with this uh, coated nozzle and uh, using some very old PTG and uh, just show you the results and you have to decide yourself does it uh, really worth extra money buying these uh, nozzles. And I think it is important to mention that this is not sponsored video. I received these nozzles for free just to test it and to present the results but I'm not paid anything about this. I have two MK8 nozzles which will go on my Industry V2 which has the Microsys uh, all metal hot end. And this is the E3D V6 nozzle which will go on my Plus MR3S. Well, for the first look, they look like a brass nozzle with this black coating on them. Here you can see the nozzles under the microscope. I think it's time to start with the printing. But as a reference, I will print everything with the regular nozzles and then uh, I will zip to these uh, coated versions. Uh, just to check few dimensions, so this should be 13 millimeters. This is M6 thread, that's fine. Let's check this dimension, uh -huh. 6.03, uh, this dimension should be in minus because some branches will have the problem with uh, these dimensions. Probably they didn't include the thickness of the coating. And let's check the E3D, this should be 12.5 millimeters. That's accurate, the thread should be also M6, fine. Now let's check this dimension for the wrench and again 7.05 so again uh, the thickness of the coating must uh, be included in this dimension actually. For testing I will use uh, this PTG which is the oldest which I have, I bought it maybe uh, 4 years ago. Usually it is stored in some uh, resealable bag with some silk again inside but usually during the printing because of this size it is on open printer. The first test will be printed on NSV V2 where I have this Microsys direct drive and all metal hot end. And this is their uh, nozzle which arrives with the kit. This is some wear resistant uh, plated nozzle. I'm printing everything on 240 degrees Celsius and probably I will get some stringing with the regular nozzle. Well, I don't know how will I compare these two nozzles because uh, this printing looks perfect. Maybe I will try different stringing tests with only two towers and they will be closer to each other. Hey, it looks like I have some minimal stringing at the end. <laughs> I never thought that I will be happy over the stringing, so at least we can compare two nozzles. I will mark it as number one and uh, I will print the other one and then I will compare them side by side. It's time to remove the nozzle so I am heating up uh, the hot end and I will remove the filament first. For this nozzle which is inside I need this 7mm wrench which is great because the nozzle will stay inside. But for this uh, I need to use this 6mm open end wrench and it's a little bit tight probably because of the coating. Oh, I forgot to remove the silicone sock. I'm holding the block from the side and I pay attention because there are some wires for the hot end and thermistor. Be careful, this is very hot now. And now the Black Ops nozzle. Uh, theoretically I should wait until it cools down, but uh, I don't want to waste too much time, so I'll be very careful. and it will become hot very quickly but now I can finish with the wrench oh not this one the 
not sure is it Visibrand camera, I remove a little bit the coating because uh, this open end wrench is a little bit small for this. Theoretically it is correct size, but thanks to the coating uh, this is a little bit bigger than 6 mm. I hope it's visible when you tie the nozzle, uh, there should be a small gap between the hot end and top surface of this nozzle. Let's insert the filament. Now, theoretically I should set the Z offset again, but I will just uh, raise it a little bit and uh, set it on the fly during the printing. Printing with the same G-code. So far so good, but I didn't have a problem with the previous one at this height. And printing is finished. And I mark this one with number two. Well, these are they are extremely similar, so I cannot see the advantage of any of them. But I will let you the decision. And now removing the nozzle. And this is how it looks like after the printing. So as you can see the uh, wrench uh, removed part of the coating. Because thanks to this coating it's a little bit bigger than 6 mm. In my next printing I will print everything on Prusa Mark 3S. And this time I will print a 2 tower stringing test. So this stringing test has only 2 towers. And this is still the original brass nozzle on this Prusa Mark CS. This test will be printed at 250 degrees Celsius, which is quite high temperature for the PETG. But I hope I will have some string in here so I can compare. This printing will be finished in less than one minute and uh, it looks like it will be a perfect print. At least I can see one small string or maybe two, but I will compare the two objects side by side when I print with the second nozzle. And the printing is finished and it looks like this is almost perfect print. One small string I can see somewhere in the middle, but I will print with the second nozzle and compare them side by side. And I will mark this with number 1. This is printed with the regular brass nozzle. Now let's replace the nozzle. I am moving the z-axis higher. And I am starting with removing the part cooling fan and this fan shroud. I don't have too much space for the camera in my hands, so I will explain it and then do maybe off camera. So I will use this uh, open end wrench uh, on the short side of the heat block. Be very careful with these wires for the heating cartridge and the thermistor. And I will hold the block in one place and I will use a 7 mm wrench to screw the nozzle. But of course after I remove the filament and heat up the nozzle to 280 degrees Celsius. The black OPS nozzle. And don't forget there should be a gap between the heat block and this surface on the nozzle. The nozzle is cooling down and I'm placing back the fan shroud. and placing back the fan. Uh, 
and don't forget the live Z should be calibrated again but I will do it again uh, through the printing only for the start I will raise it just in case to don't hit the print surface Everything is okay so far, so we will see in a few minutes. Well, currently from here I cannot see any significant difference. Maybe a few more strings, but I will wait until it's finished, and uh, on a daylight I will compare two objects. Printing is finished, and I will mark with number two. And I think I have enough light to compare here side by side. Well, until the printing with the Ender 3, I couldn't see any difference. Uh, here, basically, I can see more strings here than on the original brass nozzle. And this is the end of my testing. And uh, instead of conclusions, uh, as I promised to 3D Easy, I will just do these printings and present them to my viewers and let uh, you to make a conclusions. Uh, but one suggestion I have for 3D Easy, and that's uh, this uh, coating has some thickness, and this has to be included because some opponent wrench uh, don't go so easily on this plus dimension. So the dimension must be six or seven millimeters, but tolerance in minus. Anyway, I hope I could give you some useful informations. Thank you for watching, and happy printing!